Hello. Yes, Nick Griffin would take in washing. That's right. I do this video because I'm in a bit of a funny mood today and I'm at a loose end and I thought I'd cheer you all up, you know. Because you've got to have a laugh uh, while doing all this, otherwise it'll drive you insane, you know. 1997, I've left the link below, Nick Griffin, The Cook Report. According to The Cook Report, a former French legionnaire working on behalf of the Front National of France, uh, pan-European movement kindly offers to bankroll Nick Griffin's five-year plan for Britain. Like I said, I've left the link below, you can watch it. According to the Cook Report, they had something like uh, no less than 34 meetings and the soft fuckers still hadn't got on it. Finally, the penny drops, right? The penny drops and he gets onto it, right? But okay, let's just give him the benefit of the doubt regarding that. Let's go to 2001. Adrian Marsden in Halifax. Adrian Marsden had won a council seat in the ward of Mixenden in Halifax. One night, one dark night. Uh, where he lived, there was, uh, uh, there was garages at the back of his uh, home uh, where he lived. And uh, he, he parked his car there of him, if I remember right. One day going there, he's attacked by three men in black with Oxbridge tone voices. So quick, the grip they got round his throat, he couldn't even shout out for help. Adrian Mars then implied with the Oxbridge tone voices, it was the security service's special branch. Firstly, why would the special branch want to do that? Secondly, who gives them the order to do it? Thirdly, why hadn't they done it to the BMP councillors in Burnley, or way before that, Derek Beacon in 1993. You know, come on. You see, the police, uh, security services, special branch MI5, there's rules and regulations, especially now, that they have to abide by, or should I say, uh, after the 1984 Police and Criminal Evidence Act was passed, they can't just do whatever they want now. There's not a, a, a week goes by. You see coppers getting done for things, um, you know, the, the, with a the broke pace and whatever, code of practice, whatever. So they have to abide by the law, right? But also, who would give the special branch officers the order to do it? Where does it come from and why? Well, exactly, it's a load of fucking nonsense. Obviously... Uh, Adrian Mars that was in the pay of searchlights, they've had him do it to deter other people standing in Halifax with the BMP and also, also, in the hope he doesn't get re-elected because people read it in the paper that he was beaten up and the BMP put it on the website and whatever. And I remember a friend, Andrew McCourt, theorist, analysis, strategist, a good guy, he got on to me and said, Joey, that's a load of fucking nonsense, right? That is a load of fucking baloney. And I, I remember texting Griffin. Griffin, he's, oh, it's too late now, it's done. And also, to add insult to injury, someone had told Griffin that they were in a cleaner, a cleaner, that's right, it was a cleaner in uh, Halifax Police Station. I dared the special branch boasting and laughing about how they beat Adrian Marsden up. Does anyone really believe that? Do you remember that, Nick? Yeah, you mentioned that. I mean, the, uh, a cleaner, someone told you they knew a cleaner. Talking of cleaners, let's go to 2004, Nick Griffin again. Nick Griffin was standing for the North West uh, European Parliament and he didn't get elected. He didn't get elected because of the fiasco of the Cresta Hotel. That was your fault, right? Or whoever told you to stay. But anyway, uh, Griffin's uh, cop-out, uh, an excuse for failure was that someone told him, wait for it, a cleaner, right? At the count, was there? In Manchester, the count, uh, I, I was cleaning up the next day and found all these BMP ballot papers uh, stuffed behind radiators. I mean, you mentioned that on the Jackson uh, show. It's, it's on YouTube, Jackson inter interviewing you. Do you really believe that, Nick Griffin, or is it just a, an excuse for failure? Because to open the ballot boxes, that means all the other candidates would have had to have been notified. Right? Because obviously they'd have raised the alarm themselves. Ah, someone's opened the ballot box. They'd have to have been notified. 
told in advance, listen, it's only BMP uh, ballot papers we're taking, yours is secure. And they go, oh, okay, yeah, and they go along with electoral fraud, which is a jailable offence. Do you really believe that? Of course you don't, Nick Griffin. You don't believe it. Yeah, here you are on uh, Jackson video, whatever. It's, it's on YouTube, if you want to find it. Oh, in fact, I'll leave the link below. You're talking, you're being interviewed by Jack Sen, and that's what, that's what you say. You cannot believe that, Nick. Again, who gives these security services, assuming that's who you're implying, uh, it's empty, uh, it's open the ballot boxes and took BMP ballot papers out. Who gives them the order to do it? And why didn't they do it in 209 then, instead of letting you in? See, all this conspiracy stuff is what's held us back. And then, again, to add insult to injury, right? Like in the Kook Report, a disgruntled soldier also joins. He's a spy of the Kook Report. Like Adam Walker, right? You fell for Adam Walker. You fell for his spiel. You were in awe of him, looking up at him like that sometimes. And Clive Jefferson, how the fuck you fell for him? And um, Dawn Charlton, commonly known as Butch Dawn, and... Peter Taney, he had you round his little finger. He must have promised you money because he said, uh, boo, and you jumped every time, right? Mike Whitby, you know, come on. And you're still falling for it now. You're still taking in washing with uh, Jack Sen and Jim Little Legs Dowson. How the loyalists haven't got on Jim Little Legs Dowson by now, I'll never know. I will never know, right? But maybe they will one day. Let's hope they do, because you're a, um, a snitch for the police, MI5, SBs. I don't know, but you're a snitch, right? Maybe one day they will. Maybe the penny will drop, right? But anyway, you're still taking in washing, Nick Griffin, right? And you know you are. Now, if anything I've said here is wrong, uh, it's not factual, let me know. And I'll do another video. Also, what's happening to me invitation on the Jack Sen show. In fact, me, you and Jack Sen, Nick Griffin, can debate all this, what I'm talking about. What do you reckon? You're up for it or what? Because I am. I'll debate with anyone, right, with what I say. Because what I say is true. What I say is the right way forward. The only way forward. Which you know it is, Nick Griffin. Right, you know quite well it is. You're letting yourself down, you're letting your family down, because they must watch these videos thinking what a clown you are. And you're also letting British nationalism down. I mean, you handed the BMP, sorry, sorry, you surrendered the BMP to hope not hate without a fight. You handed over the membership. You know, in these videos, when I say the late, great John Tyndall, do you think anyone will be talking about you uh, in that way? I doubt it, right? I very much doubt it. They'll be talking about you in the same way. Highly unlikely. Like I always say the late, great John Tyndall, for all his faults, he was a good man, John Tyndall. Honest and sincere, right? Do you really believe Nick Griffin? They're going to say the late, great Nick Griffin. Maybe you don't care. I don't know, right? But just look at all those major blunders you're responsible for. Okay, the Kook Report and all that. We can live with that. Right, or fallen for it, Ian Stewie. Remember that one, MI5, because his, uh, his brake pipes, and that's why they crashed the car and killed him. Fuck me, what a load of fucking nonsense. They'd love Ian Stewie's stage light. That's what they love, all that, all the nonsense. Right, but, you know, you've handed the BMP over and you're still taking in washing. I haven't had one email from you saying, Joe, you're right, you're wrong, shut up, or whatever. Nothing. Is you calm, can you? You know, it's appalling, really, when you think of it. But I've done this video. I made this video, should I say. I was at a loose end. I was in a funny mood. I thought I'd give you all a laugh because you've got to have a laugh. Because you'd go insane with this. You literally would. <laughs> okay, thank you.